Good day to you all guys and girls. I am Mike Scorpio, Mike Nintendo 64, and this is just a short video about my opinions on the Nintendo Switch. So, what I want to get into is, obviously the Switch has got a lot of potential and it is really trying to right the wrongs of the shortcomings of the Wii U. And uh, allow me to demonstrate. Firstly, I think you know what I'm getting at here. Uh, it has got quite a lot of ports coming to the system uh, and also has already come to the system. I mean, we know of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, which came out simultaneously on the Wii U and the Switch. We've got Shovel Knight, which has come out on the 3DS, the Wii U, and is also on the Switch, along with the update as well for Shovel Knight Treasure Trove, which you can buy uh, separately or you can buy it all together. I mean, as regards to the Spectre Knight DLC, which you can buy as a standalone or part of the Treasure Trove. Anyway, so other games, of course, include Lego City, Undercover, so yeah. We have Mario Kart 8 in the form of Mario Kart 8 Deluxe on the Switch, which is uh, an improved port. Also, we have Splatoon 2, which is uh, the next iteration of Splatoon. And it seems to me really, uh, even though they say it's a sequel, it's got its own story. I mean, a lot of people don't even play it for the story. They just play it for the online matches against their friends. So it's pretty much like the Call of Duty as regards of it's a new iteration, it's supposedly a sequel, but it is essentially just the same game, go around shooting everything, split everything up, have a good time doing it. Which, to be honest, I will have a good time doing it. I'm not going to lie. Also, we come to the Pokken Tournament, which is coming to the Switch as well, with the Pokken Tournament DX, or Deluxe. So, which was on the Wii U and it originally came out in arcades as well. But it will come with, opposed to the 16 which is on the Wii U, the 20 that are on the arcade version, it will come with one extra Pokemon as well, Decidueye, who will be representing the 7th generation of Pokemon from Pokemon Sun and Moon. Now, another game that is coming to the console for the Nintendo Switch is Fire Emblem Warriors, which will be coming to the Switch and to the 3DS. Now, there was another game on the Wii U which did exactly the same, only it was wrapped up in a different skin, and that was Hyrule Warriors, or Hyrule Warriors, whichever way you want to pronounce it, which was the Legend of Zelda skinned over Dynasty Warriors and now Fire Emblem Warriors, which will be coming to the Switch. Now, there's one game that's missing. Now, we know that pretty much Nintendo is trying to bring up all the best games they possibly can for the Switch to make sure that it has the strongest uh, successful launch it possibly can. And of course, there's one game missing that they have taken from the Wii U library and brought to the Switch, and that is, of course, Super Smash Bros. Now, if we know, we know it's coming, we do. We know that it's going to come eventually to the console, whether it's going to be a new game or whether it's going to be a port. Now, I personally, I'm leaning towards the port because they've got a lot of work done for the game. It's basically just trying to get all the iggly niggly bits together to make sure it works properly, properly, not probably, properly on the system. Now, if they can combine the two greatest elements of the Wii U version and the 3DS version, which is if they can get all the quality, the graphics of the Wii U version with the functionality of the 3DS and bring Smash Run to it as opposed to the the board game that they have offered in Smash Bros. Uh, I'm trying to think of Smash Tour, I think it's called, something like that, where you have to go around and gather as many warriors as you can or characters as you can as you move around the board. Now, if they could get rid of that and just put Smash Run in, which is kind of like the subspace emissary, which we all miss from the Wii U version, Smash Bros. Brawl, if they could do that, we would have a happy, happy time with Super Smash Bros. Deluxe. You know it's coming. You know, it's going to be DX or Deluxe or something on that line. I mean, it's Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, it's Pokken Tournament Deluxe, DX. So, where is this thing going next? Now, 
I have a funny feeling that Nintendo, after teasing it in their announcement trailer back in October, that they, with the Pokemon, um, not Pokemon, the Nintendo tournaments where they're all lining up to play Splatoon on the console, I think you can see that they are really gearing up to, to using the Switch in tournaments. Now what makes me say this, uh, if you have seen the summer trailer which came out just yesterday, of creating this video obviously, or filming this video even, that's, that it shows them playing arms, it shows them playing Pock and Tournament, it shows them playing Splatoon, that are them being the people, the people going around playing it on their console, they can play it on their console, play it in tablet mode, they can play it on tabletop mode on the TV, they also play it with LAN mode. Now LAN mode is where they connect it up to the internet, and connect each console up to everyone, I don't know if it's to the internet, but they connect each console up to each other, and then they can play it all separately in a big tournament sort of thing. Now, it is safe to say that Nintendo are definitely giving up to that way, so we may be able to expect some kind of tournaments in the future. Now, I'm not talking about the open tournaments or the open invitation that they have at E3 with Splatoon and ARMS and Pop and Tournament, but I'm thinking that maybe next year we could see the return of maybe like the Nintendo World Championships or we can see smaller tournaments going on around the country to see who is the best Nintendo player. Now, I can see where they're going with this and I'm all for it. I really, really think it's a good way to go. Obviously, we know that this on a whole is a very, very uh, good system. It's a very, very potential system. But as it is, I think if you're really going to play in tournaments, uh, play it professionally, it's definitely got to be with the Pro Controller because if you were to play uh, tournaments with this and even with the, the, the strap that goes on the top of it afterwards and you're just clicking away, it's very, very small and I'm sure that it would cause problems within a tournament. You could mess up more than you should do. Even in this mode, looking at it and playing it on a professional level, um, though it is a much better option than playing it with the single Joy-Con to play with both, I'm sure that there will still be some kind of issues with playing it and also in the, the Joy-Con grip. That may be a better option to play, but I'm sure it will be mainly leaning towards the Pro Controller for professional gaming. But that's not to say that it's not good as it is. Now, I have played Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, for example, and I have played through the CCs, I played through 150cc, I played through 200cc, working my way through the mirror mode now in just handheld mode. And I found it a lot of fun, I found it very, very responsive, and I've won, got, managed to get, you know, all three stars, gold, first place, and three stars on every one except for mirror mode, which I'm currently working my way through. And I think for casual gaming, as regards to playing uh, like with a friend or with a random stranger, just, you know, let's prop up and have a game. It's great fun. It's, it works for that. You just pop, pop them off and then one for me, one for you. You play with one, you play with the other. And it, it, it's good fun. It works for that. There, there is no doubt with that for the, the Switch. But I think as regards to tournaments and stuff like that, you definitely got to go with a pro controller. It's, it's just what it is. So... That's been my video and my thoughts on the Nintendo Switch and as regards to where it's going to go, the ports to the system, where the games have come from, obviously the Wii U, what we can expect from them. Uh, so if you enjoyed this video, please uh, give us a like, subscribe to our channel. You can also check out our news reviews and personal views and also special interviews with developers for Nintendo Switch games, Wii U games and 3DS games as well. Go to www.miketendo64.com. You can also check us out on Facebook and Twitter. Until next time, keep on gaming.